Dijak is here. Get ready for some hard justice. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Worcester, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 270 pounds. Dijak! Dijak's a monster. A mercenary. Ready to decimate any competitor. I wouldn't limit Dijak's destruction to who's in front of him. He's out here taking people out from all angles. Now, Dijak's throwing bullseyes on anybody he chooses. I personally hope the next target's on you, Saxton. Underneath the scowling face and immense stature, Dijak has an incredible intellect. It's also what makes him so dangerous. The anger that fuels him is compounded by his in-ring IQ. Things are about to get good. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 223 pounds, Sean! The WWE Universe is on their feet for this superstar. They are ready for unapologetic high-intensity action. I would be shocked if we saw apologetic in-ring action of any sort, Byron. He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. Guys, we have a superstar that is molded to be the next big thing. While he might be molded, he can still use a little refining. If he can harness that potential, we're looking at the next big thing. Sure, a little rough around the edges, Corey, but there's something that comes with time and experience. Yeah, but Guy Jack thinks all eyes should be on him, though. And it's easy to see why. Just look at his mix of intense power, size, athleticism, and intelligence. Dijak stands out in a big way every time the bell rings. Wow. Even Saxton gets it. Dijak is a true specimen, a true attraction. Feast your eyes indeed. Delivers the knee. Mm. Measured stomp right to the gut. Followed up by another to the chest. Oh, what a chop. That'll let you up. Kick after kick after kick. Oh, we're going to kick the features off their face. Dijak has gained complete control. Dijak showing that edge, that ruthlessness. And Dijak clearly ready for a fight here. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Crafty way to get out of harm there. Death Valley driver. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Oh, and then the chest as well. Oh, boy. To the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah. Gonna clean it off here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Hoisted up on their shoulders. Spike. 
with a Death Valley driver. Look at him seizing the momentum here. He's bringing a lot of intensity right now. What a blow. Carefully measured right. Hoping to get chucked around like that. Talk about dismantling your opponent. And he goes for the pin. No, a kick out. I didn't think this match was close to over. Oh, I had that well scouted. Up in the fireman's carry. Vicious right forearm. Oh, geez. Nasty kick in the face. Into the corner. This can't be good. He's got him scouted. Big boot. Vicious. Position to be caught in here. Laying down with a powerball. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. warming up and he gets set back into the ring boom oh using the knee as a weapon makes the cover and a shoulder in the air an emphatic kick out and there's still a lot of game left here a knee drop shot between the shoulder blades and now perched on the middle rope. Tornado DDT. He is just reeling from that offense. There's been plenty of action in this match and the cost of that is really showing now. Choke slam backbreaker. Oh, looking to cripple the leg. This 
Superstar trying to maneuver their opponent this in position. Superstar's gonna be about two inches shorter after that. Stomping, ouch. That's mounted with punches and not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. All right in the solar plexus. Each shot landing with a little bit more venom. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. And he's able to counter. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. The fight is on, and it's furious. Uh-oh. I justice. Will Dodzak end it here? Is it enough? The cover. What a kick out at two. His opponent thought he had it in the bag for sure. This is when you have to switch game plans. You can't let yourself get discouraged. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there, but to no avail. Big boot. He may get the three count right here. This is it. It's over. Dijak gets the win. Here is your winner, Dijak! Oh, he's falling on Dijak with his victory. We just witnessed a methodical thrashing from Dijak. We should be bowing to the display of power we just saw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Miami, Florida, Low Van Cease. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. Such a talented competitor. I think we're about to see one of her best matches yet. One of the most decorated superstars in WWE history. Here comes Natalia from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Natalia! Uh, Natalia, one of the all time greats, really a trailblazer in the women's division here in WWE, and gonna bring that uh, expertise and experience here to NXT. Product of the infamous Hart Family Dungeon, Natalia, no stranger to NXT and the superstars on the rise. You can certainly sense the respect from the NXT universe towards Natalia. Well, I respect Natalia for one reason, Byron. Her cat has more social media followers than you do. And you have to respect the work this superstar has been putting in in order to meet the kind of challenge she faces tonight. Without a doubt, we've seen the hard work paying off. You don't find yourself in a match like this without dedicating your time into your craft. All that time spent has her in a good position to pull off the victory here. And there's a big challenge for her across the ring tonight, Natalia. Natty's lineage is well documented, no question there. Her experience and knowledge is something few superstars can meet, let alone exceed. She's one of the toughest opponents you'll ever face in the squared circle. Oh, put down face first. Yeah. Firm control. Nasty kick to the face. <laughs> and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Shot! Yeah. Roundhouse kick! Man! 
Natal and will this be it? And quick getting the arm up. Not a very effective pin attempt. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Boom. Boom kick connects. Short clothesline hits its mark. A little insult to your injury. She's forced onto the defensive now. She avoids the contact. Natalia. Oh, sit out power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. Able to parry that one. Expect the strategy to work over the arm. Seated bionic elbow. Quick side step by Natalia. Back body drop. Down low with the drop kick. Can she do it here? Great officiating as the rep noticed she was on the ropes. Oh, look at this here. Arm wrench. An injured shoulder puts you below square one. This is a smart strategy here. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Into the corner now. Impressive reversal there. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Natalia landed it right there. She did her homework there. Oh, brutal forearm. And she had Natalia's number there. Oh, a takeover. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Oh, my goodness. Kick to the spine. The Queen of Hearts is fired up tonight. The claws have come out for Natalia. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Oh, yeah. She is really getting fired up. Oh, God, what an elbow. She's losing some steam now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Oh, stomping away. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. Ooh, she just turned it around. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. Ah, shot to the back. Suplex. All the momentum has swung to Natalia. Yeah, now he's proven hard to keep up with. Right to the spine. Ooh, and a reversal. Yeah, Natalia gets drawn in. And that can vanquish Natalia. Natalia suffers the loss, and this one might weigh on her for a while. You can see the frustration painted all over Natalia's face.
The underboss is here. Time to pay your respects to Stax. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Channing Stax Lorenzo. The Don's right-hand man. Stax is not a man you want to cross. Incredibly athletic and ruthless, he'll stop at nothing to climb to the top of WWE. Yeah, and there's an especially dangerous feeling when he's in the ring. Stax treats every match like a turf war. Stax has two educations, one from the streets and one from school. That's what makes him twice as smart. Well, it's that sharp IQ that's helped him conquer the streets and WWE. This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check. But when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, the NXT champion, Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov looks ready to unleash his fury inside the ring here tonight. Hey, this dude's been called the Unstoppable Czar. A title that he has earned due to his supreme physical conditioning. We've also learned that Ilya Dragunov has a volatile temper inside the ring. You're right, Byron. That's a trait that Dragunov has used to his advantage. Yeah, there is no putting out the fire that burns inside of Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov. Now, this young man says that pain makes him feel alive. He comes to the ring prepared to receive just as much damage as he doles out to his competition. Yeah, there's Relentless, and then there's Dragunov. He doesn't care what toll this match takes on his or his opponent's body, just as long as he comes out on top. A man driven by a relentless fury who attacks without hesitation. Ilya Dragunov is ready to fight here tonight. But Stax is on a mission, and he thinks he's ready to control the entire men's division. That's definitely a lofty goal, but Stax is a big dreamer with an even bigger level of talent. I really think he can do anything he puts his mind to. Stax gets countered. Oh, right in there. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Dragunov is out of the way. Oh, wow. oh, my God. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Crashing down with the senton. He's absorbed some damage already. <laughs> Planning on what to do next. Oh, what a throat. <laughs> Boom, right in the button. Schoolboy pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. Oh, power. That was a power bomb with one message in mind: absolute ah. destruction. And for Ilya Dragunov, it is about that philosophy, Umba Zikbar, the notion that he's undefeatable once he reaches a certain point. The question is, how does he get there? Well, it's this simple for Ilya Dragunov: just keep fighting. Dragunov fights every day to prove his worth. 
Umba Zikbar isn't just something that sounds scary, it's something he's earned the right to call himself. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. And this one might be headed ringside. And he's taking this to the outside now. It's the red, white, and blue Thunderbomb. That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Boom! He must have had that scouted. Schoolboy pinning combination. Oh, maybe not. But Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time. For that to happen, channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Big boot. Vicious. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Senton! Boom! He can't take any more of this! He needs to get himself to the cover! Almost! Two and a half! The end was in sight! Into the schoolboy way. That's not it! Down with a suplex! Kick. And Dragunov is showcasing his arsenal. And Dragunov showing that Unba Zikbar truly makes him unstoppable. Carefully measured knee drop. Throwing their body. Lands the knee drop. Uh-oh. Power bomb. Almost out of control, but it doesn't matter when Dragonov is practically invincible. Who the forearm connects. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. That's not right. Quick thinking from Dragunov. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Big boot. Vicious. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. And now thrown back into the ring. Ilya takes hold. Driving a forearm into the jaw. Good night. The cover. Oh, he gets the shoulder up before three. Unbelievable presence of mind. I thought he was unconscious. And Dragunov can't let this get to his head. He needs to keep going. Needs to keep fighting. is the mark. Oh my goodness. Will it be? He wasted no time kicking out there. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. We have seen these men unleash a lot of devastating offense. Incredible that this match hasn't ended yet. It might just be a matter of time. This one is close to coming to a head. Meet face. Cover! The count was stopped before it started. It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one. 
Kick connects with a body. Knee drop, bang! Will that stop Dragunov? Makes a cover! It's over! It is over! Here is your winner, Channing Stacks Lorenzo! Unfortunately, Ilya Dragunov just couldn't get it done in this one. Making his bones, Stax has to be a made man after this one. The following is a tag team match set for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 515 pounds. The team of Baron Corbin and Braun Breaker. This is a top level team, guys. Each of these superstars could be a main eventer by themselves, but together, they're even better. The Alpha Academy is here. Byron, I've always wanted to do this. Shoosh! And their opponents at a combined weight of 486 pounds. Otis and Akira Tozawa, the Alpha Academy! You know, Alpha Academy may look like a bunch of oddballs, but they're legit. I wouldn't be surprised if they're really an accredited academy. They're highly trained, highly intelligent, and highly competitive. They certainly think so. Absolute geniuses of the mat game. Yeah, tonight we're about to see their thesis. The Alpha Academy in action here tonight. I'm still not sure if these guys are as important and educated as they think they are. Look at what these competitors have forged themselves into. Think about the hours, maybe even days, spent in the gym to get where they are. Alpha Academy is the paragon of wrestling teams. And it's less about ability and more about attitude, Corey. I just have a hard time taking them seriously, and so do their opponents. You can't argue their credentials, but don't overlook the team they're squaring off against. They've done their homework. They're coming into this fight as prepared as you can be. And that can be a difference maker, Corey. You can be a great team, but if your opponent has you scouted, you can become very vulnerable. Boom! Boom! An agile escape. Big boots! Body oh, European uppercut. Connecting with a standing moonsault. It's hard enough to do a moonsault from the ropes, but standing next to your opponent? Now that's something else. Double underhook slam. Oh, impressive counter. Pummels the shoulder. Measured up and 
drop. Akira was on the wrong end of things here. Powerhouse display by Breaker. The hype is real, gentlemen. Pull back in. Belly to belly suplex. Just got thrown around like a sack of do you know what. He went right into that turnbuckle. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. My God, enough! Stopping down! Check out this. All the way down! And shoulders are down. Oh, he kicked out. He thought he had it. Oof. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Dezava wards that attack off. Shifts it back onto him. Jaw-shattering boot. Targeting the stomach to reverse that maneuver. Tozawa gets countered. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Into the pin attempt. Two count and Tozawa pops the shoulder up. Very close. The T clearly set again. Tozawa is struggling to defend himself. And you gotta wonder, what does this do to Tozawa's confidence? Ah, oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Turning the tables there. Close the line. Tozawa wards that attack off. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Larry. Guys, we might need to stop this one. Things do not look good for him now, guys. But if anyone can jumpstart a rally, it is Tozawa. Otis is tangled up. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. And the official calls a double count out. Should have listened to the count.